Russian businessman Mikhail Fridman is offering a billion dollars of his own money to a Ukrainian bank he co-founded. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. It's reportedly an effort to lift British sanctions against him. The billionaire has seen his assets frozen and investor tires, ties severed following UK sanctions against Russia. However, Fridman denies making a quid pro quo offer to Ukraine. British officials say the UK does not condone any sanction avoidance. The venture capital unit of crypto exchange platform FTX is buying a 30% stake in Skybridge Capital. Recently, Skybridge has been making moves into the crypto space through direct token buying and private investments. This is now the latest joint venture by Sam Bankman-Fried and Anthony Scaramucci. That's after the duo launched a crypto conference in the Bahamas this past April. And of course, Bankman-Fried has been investing in a lot of different crypto investments, rescuing some of them, in fact. Luxury brand company Tapestry striking an upbeat tone, announcing it's speeding up its turnaround plan with a new three-year growth strategy. It says it expects to see $8 billion in revenue by 2025. That would be a three-year compound growth rate of 67%. The company also set individual targets for its three brands, that is, of course, Coach, Kate Spade, and Stuart Weitzman. Tapestry also noted it's not seeing a slowdown in consumer spending. That's despite the current economy, and that's very much in line, Brian Sazi, with what you were hearing from, as you were just talking about, luxury retailers at the conference you were at this week. So very true. Thanks for tuning in, Julie.